Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at exception handling in VB.NET. So first thing, create console VB.NET application in Visual Studio. Now we will have empty projects such as this. Now when we are looking at exception handling, there is one important thing to note at. We are going to write some of the code which will purposefully create an exception. And our job is to cache that exception and then do the needful for the rest of the code. Okay, so for this, we make use of try and cache block. So let's use try keyword. And when you hit enter, it will automatically add cache block and also try to end your try block with end try. Okay, now as you can see here, uh, it will point out to exception and this object X will need to be outputted using right line and simply add X okay now within try block I want you to simply purposefully create one exception so let's create count as integer equals to then use convert then dot to in 16 and within that method we will pass string so this will create format exception and it will output a bunch of text on screen okay so if I run this code right now then it should point me to that format exception why? Because we are catching that exception and putting it with the help of console right line. So let me run this. And you find your system format exception in your catch block. Okay, it will also point you to the respective line where you have that exception which is line 12 okay now you have cached exception in catch block from the statement in trap block now there is another thing that you can do is using one more keyword known as finally and here you can run anything that you want to run after you have cached exception so you can push message such as cached exception Okay. Now, when you run this code, you will find that it will output cached exception. Okay. Whether your try block runs with exception or not, finally block will execute regardless of that. So let's just try with exception. And as you can see at the end it will add its own statement on console as cached exception okay so even if you put this exception in comments and try to output let's say console dot write no exception okay and if you execute this then still finally block will execute without having to make use of your exception block because try will execute normally and then it will directly jump into finally and as you can see it is showing both statements from try block and finally block so in order to catch your exception you make use of try and catch block within try block you are trying some of the condition which may lead to the exception that exception can be caught within this exception block okay this catch ex as exception will have ex as your object that can point you to the exact exception that occurred and finally block will execute regardless whether you are getting exception or not okay and you are ending your try block with end keyword and try so this was a short explanation on exception handling in VB.NET. 